Hey folks, Quillithian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europa. <laughs> Not Europa, Arts of Iron 3 as uh, America. And things are going well. We are attempting to wrap up the war against the Axis here. Feeling pretty good about this. We shouldn't be too far from being able to achieve uh, at least 12 victory conditions. A bunch more tanks just finished up here. We're just going to deploy them, and because they just finished, it means we developed a little bit more practical. Uh, we need some more production. I've actually gone and queued a little bit more IC. I probably shouldn't have stopped producing IC throughout the entire thing. One day, I'm going to learn that that is the way you do it. I'm going to run like uh, six tank lines in parallel. Tell you what, ten in parallel, and then a couple of serial runs. Oh, we don't have enough manpower for that. See, and again, you need to have the manpower just to run the serial as well, which seems a little doofy to me, but there you go. Let's start nine in parallel, which is going to eat up all our production again, which I am okay with, especially since we're going to finish off a few more tanks relatively soon as well. All right, Germany has finally been cleaned up of all the enemy forces that are still wandering around. These are Belgian, I think, yeah, I think that's it, which is good. Some Italian forces, no, Hungarian forces, um, appropriately enough, in Hungary, where we are pushing there too. Good stuff. So we need uh, we need Italy to capitulate. And then we need to get like one point in the Balkans, basically. Greece still doesn't count as being part of the um, the, ax the Allies, which is interesting. You're an Allies member, but doesn't count because Athens and Tripoli have not been liberated yet. So we'll see if we can't make a push over there at some point soon. Do, do, do. Hostile Navy. That's not much of a Navy. I think we're going to be fine. So we're waiting for transports to arrive in Boston so that we can ferry our troops over. Oh, we don't have any, do we? I mean, I see the port has some dudes. Oh, we do. We do have some more landing crafts. Excellent. Um, Let's grab a mix of armor and infantry. There we go. You guys get there. You don't have a uh, full organization yet, so we're not going to want to land you in the middle of combat. But I can probably rebase you in Salonika. And then we can have you help to clear out the Balkans. And that'll be pretty good. Okay. We are very close to the end over here, you guys. It is June of 43. We're definitely going to end World War II ahead of schedule. We did everything backwards. We defeated Japan before we defeated Germany. We didn't start in Africa before we started in Europe. It's odd. Everything's odd. And we certainly... Well, no. The thing is, with the pace at which sort of um, the United States joined the war, like it's sort of reasonable the sort of shortage of units that we've had for most of this. Because, I mean, we just started fighting a lot sooner. And in fact, I probably should have kept building up my industrial capacity a lot longer... Um, and just started fighting a little bit later, and then I would have been able to come in with a little bit more of a sudden and more decisive blow. But I think it was throwing me off, like, I was so worried about losing more islands to Japan. Because that did happen right, you know, early on. We lost quite a few. Okay, seriously, how long does it take to cross this? Alright, you're working on it. Do we get, like, a timeline? Not really, huh? Damn, despicable fins! who joined the Axis and are just retaking their own provinces. So that's okay. I mean, that's what those messages are. I mean, joining the Axis is not very good. You're probably going to get destroyed by the Soviets now, who really don't have any other front at this point. Winter War never triggered, or as far as I can tell. Maybe the fin maybe uh, Soviets took some border provinces. I mean, I don't know exactly where the line is sort of at the start of the campaign versus later the campaign, so I'm not sure what's up there. <laughs> Alright, keep moving down. And we are pushing in here as well, actually. Which is good. So again, if we take a look at our victory conditions that we're looking for, we're at 10 of 15. We just need to grab maybe the south of Greece, uh, maybe finish off Italy, which only needs two other provinces. Italy doesn't even have to surrender. right? We just need to have the, those particular points. Heavy bomber training going on. There we go. We finally crossed that straight with our mariners, and we're going to be able to advance up the boot. We're in the toe of Italy now. Lots of battles quickly being won over here. Which is to be expected. I mean, the thing is, things will go very fast once you get past the front line. And I mean, without the German support over here, um, now you got to defend against all angles, right? 
Soviets, British, Americans, you've got nowhere to turn anymore. You're just completely surrounded. People are going to fall over um, very, very, very quickly. There's nothing you can do at that point. So that should get mopped up relatively quickly. And we have no specific demands on most of this territory. Um, so whatever we occupy, you know, good. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. And actually, it looks like Great Britain will be able to take care of Greece finally. These are Italian troops, I think, that are holding on to all this, right? Yeah. Hey, special forces advance. That's good, because we are making use of um, our marines, of course. So that's good. Pushing in here very, very nicely. One advantage of running on automatic is I can run on speed 4. So whether or not the AI is actually faster on a day-to-day -day basis of squishing early, easy opponents you know, that have been weakened like this um, than a human, the important thing is that the gameplay certainly runs a lot faster, just simply based on the fact that I can uh, I can run on a higher speed over here, and I'm not too worried about efficiency at this point because ultimately we have won. We're in cleanup duty. The Netherlands are back. The uh, the the Belgian Belgium is back. And Luxembourg still not back. I'm assuming once the war actually ends, but it's just it's just odd. I guess because Luxembourg never joined the Allies, so maybe France never you know liberated them. No, they are an Allied member. Like France. UK enforce conquer on Hungary. All right, you you've conquered Hungary. All right, um, like why isn't France letting go of Luxembourg? Oh, I can liberate someone. Who can I liberate? Norway. How do we uh, how do we take Norway? Because Germany had them. Oh, I didn't realize Germany just flipped occupation of Norway to me, or and or we're still occupying it. But they never released them. That's kind of rude of you, Germany. There we go. Norway has now been liberated. Your axis properly good. I don't know if you're going to do anything about Finland. It's okay if you don't. Yeah, there's still some German troops around. Still doing some things in Finland. But they're not really going to have supply routes. So they can't possibly last. But at least it stops Finland from causing any other problems in, say, Norway, for example. All right. Continuing to push aggressively here. We've got... Now, Rome is going to fall soon. There we go. Drop tanks. Excellent. We can actually get some more research going on. There we go. We'll do that. Because our officer count's going down a wee bit. Okay. Good. Keep pushing down that way. Despicable Finland. Pushing up this way. Great. No battles here. So we're going to be able to move basically as fast as the ground troops can move. And I don't know if Marines have the exact same movement rate as um, infantry or not. Marines... Uh, three, no, that's people. Kilometers per hour, four. Okay, no, so all infantry have the same rate of movement. I mean, unless you're motorized or mechanized. Mechanized. Surge of volunteers. 10% more manpower. That's good, because manpower is always my shortage. Lost the Battle of Palermo. Oh, it was an air battle. That's okay. Uh, nope, sorry, Soviets. No land lease for you. All right, Italy, Rome is about to fall, and Italy should surrender after that, because they're not going to have much in the way of victory points left. Uh, I mean, they do have some in Africa. I mean, they do have Toronto and Napoli over here, so that's something. I'm just going to say start saying Toronto. You know, because largest city in Canada. Mass assault. There we go, good. Some upgrades being applied. Yeah, it's all groovy. All totally groovy. Germany, what the hell is that? What is that? Circle. Oh, it's mechanized. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. I guess mechanized is the one that's better than motorized, isn't it? Yeah, motorized just means you've got some trucks. Mechanized is the ones that now you're basically like, I don't know, you're, you're a mech warrior at that point. You go around in, in battle mechs. Pretty sure that's how World War II ended. I'm a little fuzzy on my facts, you guys, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm tempted to go to speed 5, but then there'll be more pop-ups than I can possibly deal with. We'll actually, we might win uh, from the Balkans before we win by, oh, hello, um, by finishing up the um, uh, Italy. So I think, I think we can sort of make our own structure over here. Might, um, let's say leave them to be independent, but no. To create a core with as many people as can fit and I will create an army 
and then attach the army to the Italy South Army Group. No. I'm going to get a new army group, which I will attach to the European HQ. I'll go ahead and automate you. And put you on blitzing stance because you can attack with a fair amount of abandon. Um, just in case, we'll help out with taking Athens, is what we'll do. And then people who aren't part of something over here, click, 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 there you go. Uh, we need a new core for you, and then we need to attach that core to the army. And then start that clicking thing again. You can get attached to the new core. Oops. No, I think that's everyone. Excellent. Canadians! Canadians liberating the Balkans! And <laughs> Belgians as well! Canadians and Belgians fighting side by side. How very appropriate. I love it. Finland is still skirmishing. Oh, we've got some, um... We've got some Norwegian... No, that's not... German? German brown? Confused about something. It's the right flag. Why, why are you brown in color? Just like Norway. Is it like an expeditionary force thing? <gasps> it might be an expeditionary force thing. Alright, not too worried about what's going on with tech anymore. Echo troops in some of the theaters somewhere. That's all right. And yeah, I told you to go and blitz Athens, which should be okay. Sorry, Soviet Union. No land lease for you. Take some more bits of Italy away. So this is interesting. Like, what did he even tell you is your goal? Your goal is Rome, but you're taking all this stuff because it's still a front and you're still pushing. Acting almost more like a theater than anything else, which is okay. At this point, the theater actually must have territory. It's one of the things it didn't have before. But you do. Actually, there's a weird mix of territory. All this should be European HQ. I'm wondering if I can just automate the European HQ at this point and have it do the right thing. Probably? I don't know. Things are sort of happening the right way as is, so I think we're going to be okay. You guys are continuing to push south, maybe more slowly than I'd like. There's Rome. Oh, Rome. All right, yeah. Oh, that's not a that's not a victory point condition. What else we got? Oh, yeah, we got to make the push for, um, for Napoli, for Naples. You guys. Rome is no longer your goal. You're going to also try to push Naples. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. This army group, you no longer have to go to Athens. Athens is good. Actually, this should be all the Greek markers that we needed, isn't it? Let's have you move north instead. So we should be sitting at 11. Yep, we only need one more victory condition. We actually... We have the Italian one. It probably just hasn't processed it yet. And honestly, Bulgaria and Romania would about to fall. The only thing left would be whatever bits operating Operation Zeppelin have over here. Oh, I think those are Turkish holdings. Turkey is not a part of anything. Ah, uh, we can't we can't declare war on them though. Still, that's okay. I think. I don't know if it's at the end of the day. Oh, there we go! Yeah, it was a new day. As soon as the new day ticked over. We have won! We have won, you guys. Um, I think I can continue and then resign and get information. Right? We enforce Puppet on Italy. I think I'm going to continue. And let me make a save. And then resign so we can get our stats. Look at that. USA! Democracy World Order! USA! 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 We got so many points worth of stuff. Um, I mean, we could go and finish it. Obviously, Bulgaria and Romania should fall in some fashion. Um, relatively soon in here. 
which would give us a pretty good block. I, I may, I don't know, I've got a lot of stuff on the plate right now. I may come and see what it's like to, uh, to drop some nukes on Moscow or something like that. No promises on that whatsoever, though. Um, but stay tuned. If, if it's going to happen, it'll probably be like after a few days break because we've got so many series coming out, especially with the uh, U4, the Cossacks having just been released. But thank you very much again for all your advice that you have provided me for playing this game. Um, learning with every single playthrough really had a lot of fun. If we do another playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3, it will almost certainly be as an Axis member, and I'm actually thinking about playing as maybe Italy as opposed to Germany, because as playing as the Soviets in the USA, we played as two very massive powers both times. USA isn't the leader of the Allies, but they are huge and massive. Um, and as Italy, we would be a, a powerful uh, nation, but a secondary one, and it'll be really interesting to see exactly what we can do with that setup. And I've hesitated to play as Italy for a really long time. It's apparently really fun, but I hesitated because the naval game was um, a little bit scary to me, but now I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on that, so hopefully that works out okay. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time.